Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the third day of QTest training. We have finished creating a release, added three requirements, so now we are clear on the testing objectives. In today's lesson, we will learn how to proceed and test our application. For this, we need to create test cases. So let's see how the test cases can be created and used in QTest. Requirements and test design follow the same folder structure. We need to create three test cases to cover our requirements. Every test at a high level has a name where we mention the name of the test case. Then we provide a description about what is covered and how. If we take this example, customers should log into the app using valid credentials. Then we select the type of test from manual automation performance and scenario. Precondition is a prerequisite which needs to be satisfied before starting the test. Now we need to add the steps for our test cases. Test objective for the first test case is to log in. We will add the steps accordingly. If we have a look at the first step, there is a description and expected result. While performing this step, we will open the URL on any browser and compare it with the expected result. When executed, each step is marked as pass or fail based on the comparison. There are two ways of creating test case in QTest Manager, from requirements or from the test design section. To create a test case from requirement, we need to navigate to the requirements, fill in the name, description, type, precondition. Once uh, we have provided the details and clicked on the create button, the test case gets automatically linked to the requirement. This method gives us the benefit of automatically linking the test case to requirement. Secondly, we can create test cases within the test design section by clicking on new test case icon. And then we need to fill up the test case properties and add the steps. We need to manually add the test case to requirement if created in this way. Test cases can also be imported using Excel like requirements. Test case versioning. Commonly various changes are made to test case by different people. Versioning in QTest helps to keep track of different versions of the test case. The history section enable us to check how many times a test case has been updated. Version of test case is created by increasing the number by 0.1 every time an update is made. Also, we can access previous version of test case that is still relevant for current testing conditions. Test case version will be rounded up to the next whole number whenever it is approved. Once the test case is ready for test run, it must be approved. In today's lesson, we got to know that test cases detail the exact steps involved in order to test a specific area of an application. All test cases must be stored by feature functionality. Requirements and test design follow the same folder structure. Test cases must be linked to requirements. Test cases without test steps can be created from requirements, which are auto-linked. Test cases can be uploaded and linked to requirements through Excel sheet. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. In the next tutorial, we will discuss about test execution and defects. Thank you.